The distress fund has received a $1 million cash injection from the government and people of Taiwan. As we all live in a world seriously affected by climate change, natural disasters, and global economic turbulence, distress support fund is much more needed and critical than ever before. Taiwan remains a strategic development partner to St. Lucia. Taiwan continues to support government policy initiatives that better the lives and livelihoods of St. Lucian citizens. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre continues to prioritize the realities of St. Lucia's most vulnerable members of society. With the support of his cabinet of ministers, the Prime Minister reinstated the distress fund to ensure vulnerable households receive access to vital resources in their times of need. The check from Taiwan for the distress for the distress fund is to give social support to people who need it. We're interested in social support. We're interested in helping people to graduate out of poverty, as the Minister of Equity will tell you. And we're also interested in the health of the people of St. Lucia. And this is why the government is pursuing universal health care with alacrity, trying to see if we could get the people of St. Lucia their health taken care of. So, so our policies are multifaceted. We are helping people. At the same time, we are augmenting our support to the people of St. Lucia, to the people who are less fortunate. In addition to restoring the distress fund, the Prime Minister has increased its allocation to $1 million. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.